What's up guys, welcome back to Smash News. I'm C5 from the beefy Smash Dudes and we have a lot to cover today, so let's get right into it. First, let me present to you Resalt, a free app for your iPhone and Android device developed by us in cooperation with a close friend. Imagine being at a Smash event or tournament, but the bracket hasn't started yet or you are already out. Usually the only thing that's left is playing friendlies or maybe make a money match or two so that it's more important and you can go all out with something at stake. Well, with Resalt there's more than just a tournament bracket for you to look forward to. Whenever you feel motivated at an event, instead of just doing friendlies for the purpose of grinding, you can climb the ladder in ranked games. You can talk to someone directly and challenge them to a match, but the app also has a function to look for potential opponents in the venue that are also looking to fight someone. We will monitor and update the app constantly and already have tons of new ideas for features that we are working on. In the future we might even offer prizes to the highest ranked players. You can get the app right now on your phone, the links are in the description and at your next Smash event you can challenge your first opponents and start climbing the ladder. Please note that we are still in the beta phase so if any problems occur you can be sure that we will fix them very soon. Good luck to all of you and don't get salty. The European Smash scene has always been lacking behind a bit compared to the US. Now European tournament organizers came together to host the European Smash 4 Pro Circuit. Europe has some amazing talents but doesn't get a lot of exposure since the tournaments are smaller and it's harder for the top players of the world to regularly travel to a different continent. The European Smash 4 Pro Circuit could bring more hype into the European Smash scene and motivate players to participate more. The circuit includes a total of 5 qualifiers scattered across Europe and the final tournament for the top 16 players of the circuit. The qualifiers are held in the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Spain and Switzerland. The winners of each qualifier automatically get a spot in the Invitational. Additionally, points will be given for placings and the 10 players with the most points will also receive a spot. The 16th and last spot in the finals will be a wildcard, chosen by a community voting after the qualifiers are over. The grand prize for the winner of the circuit is a fully paid trip to EVO 2018, including accommodation and free entries. More information about the final invitational has yet to be announced, but you can be sure to hear more about it soon. In the past couple of weeks there was a lot of discussion around the Smashbox and the melee player Hex Money, who heavily criticized the Smashbox and even created his own version of an alternative Smash controller called B0XX. But now it seems that a third organization is entering the party of boxes, the so-called Smash Stick. While the mud fight between the B0XX and the Smashbox was going on, a new challenger entered the stage. And different from the other two boxes, which rely on digital input for movement rather than a control stick, the Smash Stick uses a stick for movement like the name implies. It seems that this project, brought to life by AltLab controllers, is still in its starting phase, so it is hard to say how much success it will have. But maybe if the fight between the Smashbox and the B0XX settles and the Smash Stick also earns its fans, we might have a good amount of boxes to choose from in the near future. You can check out the full Smash Stick teaser in the description. This past weekend CEO Dreamland took place, a CEO event focused only on Smash games. Here is a quick recap. CEO Dreamland looked amazing and had tournament brackets in all Smash games plus the popular games Brawlhalla and Rivals of Ether. In Smash 64, Alvin took first place over Bark Sanchez on second place and Fire Blaster on third place. Brawl also saw some hype at the tourney with V115 performing amazing making it all the way to grand finals. But in the end Nairo came from losers and defeated V115 in a 6-0 grand final. Salem took third place. In melee singles, all eyes were on SFAT as he defeated Hungrybox in winner's semis and even Mewtwo King in winner's finals. Both very close sets. Hungrybox and Mewtwo King faced off in loser's finals where Mewtwo King clutched it out in a 3-2 set, putting Hungrybox on third place. In grand finals, M2K got his redemption, defeating SFAT in a clean 6-1 victory, winning melee of CEO Dreamland. 
In Smash 4 singles there weren't too many surprises, with the Buzz on 4th place and Nairo on 3rd place after losing to Mr. R two times. Mr. R, who took a hard 3-0 loss in winners finals against Zero, met him again in grand finals. He made it a much closer set by picking Cloud in games 3, 4 and 5, but in the end Zero was able to stay consistent once again, taking Mr. R's last two stocks in a matter of seconds and winning Smash 4 of CEO Dreamland. And lastly, we have a Melee and a Smash 4 player being picked up by two different esports teams. The very well-known Melee player and Samus main, Duck, joins the esports team Phoenix One as their first Melee player and second Smash player overall, since Tweak is already a member of the team. And second, K9's Bruce, the Smash 4 Sheik main who is famous for his emotional pop-offs, joins the esports team Miami Flamingos. Thank you all so much for watching, remember to get Resold on your phone and try it out at your next local or when you're just playing with your friends. As always, I will see you guys next week, stay beefy!